गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वॉम वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर माई नेम इज़ जॉशवा एंड आई विल टीच यू कंप्यूटर सब्जेक्ट तो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू काइंडली रिमूव दे कंप्यूटर वर्क बुक एंड अ पेंसिल थैंक यू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टेकिंग एक्टिव पार्ट इन ऑनलाइन स्टडीज इट्स अ वेरी गुड यूज ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स as we are learning computers so yes we are also making use of it simultaneously jise hum seekh rahe hain computers ke bare mein sath hi sath hum online studies ke dwara us technology ka istemal bhi kar rahe hain so i'm sure we all are ready by now with your book and pencil so if you take a look here students you see there's written information technology वॉट इज़ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड हम बहुत बार सुनते हैं आई टी इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वी हेयर लॉड ऑफ टाइम्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वेल इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इज नथिंग बट इट्स द यूज ऑफ सिस्टम्स टू बी मोर प्रिसाइज खास तौर पर कंप्यूटर्स का इस्तेमाल किया जाना ताकि हमारे जानकारी और हमारी जो भी डेटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो हम संभाल के रख सकें तो दैट इज़ बेसिकली और ओवरऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द वे वी हैंडल इन्फॉर्मेशन है कोई भी जानकारी एनी डिटेल और एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन जिसको हम जानकारी कहते हैं उसे हम किस तरह से अपने इस्तेमाल के लिए हम उपयोग करते हैं उसको हम इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कहते हैं थ्रू द यूज ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड वेरियस अदर इलेक्ट्रॉनिकल सिस्टम्स और डिवाइस राइट सो लेट एस बिगिन विद आवर सिलेबस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स ओपन चैप्टर नंबर वन हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स Now, students, com computer as a word needs no introduction to you all. We all know what a computer is, how it looks like. We all have used it, right? You all have been to the practical lab during your school days, and you have been to the lab and you have used it. However, in this chapter, we will learn more about the history as to what is the evolution, how how did. कंप्यूटर्स केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस हम कंप्यूटर्स का इतिहास जानेंगे सो लेट इस बिगिन चैप्टर नंबर वन हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स एज वी बिगिन यू मे सी देर आर अंडरलाइन वर्ड्स द रीजन वाई आई एक्चुअल टू रिमूव अ पेंसिल इज सो दैट यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस वर्ड्स एंड लेटर ऑन यू राइट दिस वर्ड्स एज डिक्टेशन वर्ड्स इन योर लॉन्ग बुक और नोटबुक राइट सो लेट एस बिगिन चैप्टर वन हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स मैन इज ऑलवेज क्रिएटिव एंड राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ही इज ट्राइंग टू इन्वेंट द थिंग्स विच मेक हिज लाइफ मोर एंड मोर कंफर्टेबल राइट वी एज ह्यूमन्स मैन ह्यूमन बींग्स वी आर ऑलवेज क्रिएटिव एंड राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग we are trying to invent things which make our life more and more comfortable hum insaan itne creative hai ki hamara kaam aasan karne ke liye hum nayi si nayi cheeze ijad karte jaate hain like we invent i'm sure you may have watched the movie three idiots right now if i have to ask you students what is a machine so how will you say remember three idiots machine is any device that make man's work easy and helps save time in simple language so yes let's continue all electrical and electronic machines are the result of it man invented computers long back around 1840 so after that there was a regular advancement and improvement in the computer 
so all electrical and electronic machines are the result of it right so due to the creativity and the creative thought and to make man's work easy we came up with lot of devices which are in short known as machines earlier it were manual right? machines which require human effort and there are machines that run on electricity then there are machines which run on electronics so these are the result or in sabhi karano ke wajah se hame ye sab machines hain machines dekhne ko milti hai unhi mein computers computers also is a machine which was invented around 1840 and since then we see there is a regular advancement and improvement in the computer today's generation computers that we see students these are the advanced computers however as we look into the history of computers we will understand what this line meant invented comp- in the where it says man invented computers long back around 1840 so after that there was a regular advancement and improvement in the computer so what were this advancement and improvement we will look further generation refers to the state of improvement of a product and in reference to computer this improvement is very dramatic right from a simple mathematical calculator to today's computer generation as if we see in humans we too have generations right i or you then we have our parents right then we have grandparents then forefathers so we continue with our generation similarly in the in the world of computers or in the world of machines generation refers to the state of state of improvement unnati karna aur zyada se zyada unnati karna ya use behtar banana and in this during all this process the changes have been very dramatic we see you know, drama queen like drama baz drama baz so similarly in the world of computers there were lots of ups and downs errors success experiments failures so these are dramatic changes that came in from a simple mathematical calculator right we first invented calculator to today's computer so from right from calculator to today's computer there has been a lot of improvement bahut si unnati hue bahut sari right so with each new generation computer size was reduced whereas speed power and memory increased and today computer has become a part of our lives and this last line needs no introduction we all one best example is your cell phone that you're using at the moment right in your previous standards like in first second third fourth we have studied about the computers right so again cell phone is also a type of computer so yes we are using or making use of the computers and it has become a part of our daily life right cell phones hum ek bar khana kha lenge but cell phone hame chahiye khana nahi milega to bhi chalega just kidding see first generation computers size very large system technology vacuum tubes and processing was slow look at this picture students you see how huge or the amount of space it required what are the main features or characteristics magnetic drums magnetic tapes and it was difficult to program used machine language and assembly language so these were the few drawbacks wherein we had to manually intervene and human had to continuously press the switches so that the machine can perform however since this was just the beginning the 
starting or the evolution of computers so yeah there were a lot of improvements learnings drawbacks upcomings failures success yes without experiments without doing anything we will not succeed so let us understand the second generation now so first generation we saw vacuum tube now let's see what's in second generation second generation from 1959 to 1964 transistor years in 1947 bardeen shackley and bartain invented transistor at at and t bell lab so in the year 1947 there were three people bardeen shackley and bartain you all may be wondering what are these names like how are these names bardeen these are western names so yeah bardeen shackley and bartain they invented transistor and where they invented the name of the lab is at and t bell lab so the name of the lab is at and t bell lab now transistors were faster reliable smaller and cheaper to build vacuum tube so comparatively comparing to the vacuum tubes transistors were faster reliable smaller and cheaper right now since we are evolving so we would want to reduce the size and increase the performance like chota size ho aur zyada performance mile so yes we were succeeding we climbed a step hum ek seedi upar chadh gaye vacuum tube ko replace kar diya transistor se aur transistors kya fayde hua faster tha tez reliable like we can depend we can be dependent on it smaller and cheaper apart from this second generation computers used magnetic core memory magnetic tape storage devices and they used high level language like cobol and fortran so in gen- second generation computers apart from transistors we also used magnetic core memory magnetic tape storage device and they used high level language the examples given here is cobol and fortran so we were trying to mix up things right so we thought let's try to add up things team bana de aur fir dekhte ki kitna fayda ho sakta hai so yes we were implementing and we were getting the results accordingly so see in the picture students you can see how the size reduced if you look in the first picture it was too huge too big in the second picture the size reduced take a look again second generation computer size smaller technology transistor and processing was faster and what were these computers characteristic by magnetic cores magnetic disk and they use high level language it was easier to program yes these were the features of second generation computers now in case students if you if any of the students would want to make a note or write this notes you can definitely pause the video make notes and then continue further accordingly okay i have done this for your understanding so that students don't face any challenges aapko aasani ho seekhne mein so these are second generation computers now let's take a look at the third generation 
third generation the year 1965 to 1970 and what did we invented integrated circuits let's read these computer used integrated chips which replaced transistors hence the computer became more smaller and speed of processing increased multi programming was possible main memory and storage memory were developed faster input and output devices are also developed so in third generation transistors were replaced by integrated circuit is called ic kehte short form ic so now right? ic ud gaya iska ye device check karo iska ic to nahi gaya kabhi shayad kabhi suna ho so these are integrated circuits or integrated chips now what this circuits used to do student these circuits comprised of hundreds to thousands of transistors in one single circuit so imagine hundreds to thousands of transistors now transistors also are in smaller sizes however imagine if we combine those hundreds and thousands of transistors into one circuit that became more smaller and processing became more faster multi programming was possible now in the earlier computers second generation and the first generation it was single task it could perform one task at a time however as we entered the third generation jaise hum third generation mein shuruaat ki this integrated chips it was possible to do multiple programming main memory and storage memory were developed faster we will understand the types of memory for now understand main memory and storage memory main memory is something which a computer needs to run any application we are using a computer the memory required is known as the main memory and storage is where you store your data input and output devices are also developed input and output devices we all have learned what is input devices or what an output devices still input devices are the devices through which we input data into the computer right hum insaan jo device aur jo yantra ka istemal karke computer mein data jo feed karte hain use hum kehte hain input device and then the output device after entering that information the cpu the central processing unit will process the information and give us the output so these devices were developed in the third generation see in the picture in your workbook towards your right you will see the size it's reduced though the images are not clear i have this for you see here third generation series ics they incorporated many transistors and electronic circuits on a single chip see this small as compared to second generation computers the size and processing faster than second generation computer so yes as we read whereas see with each new generation computer size was reduced whereas speed power and memory increased right we had this line in the first paragraph the last line if you see right so yes we were right or we were proving right hum sahi the so this is the green picture this is an ic or integrated circuit see it was characteristic by mini computers accessible by multiple users from remote terminals right 
so yeah multiple users could use these computers from any place let's look at the fourth generation what we have for fourth generation period is from 1965 to 1990 microprocessor all right here we come we all have heard right microprocessor processor what is processor let's read and understand this generation used monolithic ICs million of transistors put in a single chip and microprocessor it's a single chip which would which could do all processing of a computer right so what is a microprocessor or what is a processor it is a chip which consists of millions of transistors imagine millions of transistors embedded or उन सब को एक करके एक छोटी सी चिप में समा दिया इमेजिन द काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी द थॉट दैट वुड रिक्वायर दैट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम राइट सो दिस वन सिंगल चिप बिकेम एज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स एंड दिस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स माइक्रो मीन्स छोटा और प्रोसेसर द वन विच इज प्रोसेसिंग द वर्क सो छोटा काम करने वाला डिवाइस इट्स अ सिंगल चिप विच कुड डू ऑल प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड अ सिंगल चिप राइट रिमेंबर दिस दे यूज एल एस टी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट विच लेड इन टू रिड्यूज साइज ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड ग्रेटर स्पीड cost also came down the first microprocessor was made by intel in 1971 right this is the last line is important students try to remember this who was who invented the first microprocessor you should know this intel humne dekha hoga tv mein ad right we see intel core core to do right intel processing if you try to recollect agar सोचो तो शायद हमने शायद देखा होगा टीवी में नहीं पावर्ड बाय इंटेल सो यस इंटेल इज द फर्स्ट वाज द वाज द वन हु बिल्ड द फर्स्ट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड व्हेन वाज इट इन द ईयर 1971 सो फोर्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर स्टूडेंट्स बिगेन अ रेवोल्यूशनरी चेंज एक बहुत बड़ा चेंज आ गया जहाँ पे माइक्रो प्रोसेसर आ गए और उस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर ने क्या किया थाउजेंड्स और मिलियंस ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स को एक छोटे सिंगल चिप में लेके आ गए और वो इतना छोटा हो गया कि वो हमें बहुत आसानी से हम उसे कैरी कर सकते हैं इफ़ यू सी द पिक्चर इट इज़ स्टिल नॉट क्लियर सी एम सी द फोर्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर वी एल एस आई स्टैंड फॉर वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेशन what did they did incorporated hala sama samad kar raha incorporated many millions of transistors and electronic circuits on a single chip size small as compared to first generation computer processing faster than first generation computer so in this we are comparing it to the first generation however even if we look at the second and third the fourth generation computers were faster much much faster and smaller in size the characters the personal computer and user friendly micro programs very fast processor chip high level language oop object oriented programming so here began the change PC, right? We all have heard personal computer, PC. So fourth generation computers started developing personal computers. Let us turn our page. The last generation 
last but not the least we are still going on the fifth generation computers still going on with development enhancement advancement right now students most of the time you will see me explaining things in english the reason being your computer workbook is in english and there are few words or there are certain words which are difficult even to understand pronounce and know their meaning so i will try to add in hindi words so that you are able to relate and understand however i would request students to practice english and try to pronounce these words so that you don't face any difficulty right so let's quickly take a look at the fifth generation the year 1991 to present now these computers are versatile and are using vvlsi that is very very large scale integration technology these computers operates at extremely high speed and can do parallel processing and are being used for internet mosaic navigation purpose portable computers like laptop and handheld computers that is palm top were developed it's hand held not hand hold hand held so fifth generation computers from the year 1991 till present these computers are versatile what do you mean by versatile students right we are not aware of it so i will underline these words i will send you when i once i send you the notes i will underline these words you as a student will do homework by searching the meaning of this word so that you remember it versatile means nothing but it's very unique right bahut sare features bahut sare kaam like faster memory multiple tasking to bahut sari cheeze ek sath karna khasiyat jisko kehte hain khasiyat okay and these computers used vvlsi which is very very large scale integration technology so these integrated chips which incorporated millions of transistors so in fifth generation computers we made it thoda large right we may have seen right it's your life make it large <laughs> yeah so to make our work easier we started using this technology vvlsi now these computers operate at extremely high speed right we need no introduction or any explanation on this the speed of these computers are very fast and can do parallel processing parallel processing parallel means what guys two things not touching two lines not touching each other railway track best example a parallel right similarly in computers this parallel processing was possible and are being used for internet mosaic navigation purposes this come radar kehte hain we can say radar where we can use this computer technology to locate for navigating purposes or to locate and any device like ships aeroplanes right apart from that internet internet students we all know what internet is right it needs no introduction or explanation again however we will have detailed explanation about internet maybe in your next coming chapters or in your next standard we have a topic a complete chapter on internet yes so internet and mosaic navigation purposes apart from this portable computers like laptop and handheld computers that is palm top were developed and so we started making devices various devices right which consist of laptop we all know what a laptop is handheld computers like palm top and now cell phones mobile phones 
and we can easily carry them in a pocket in a hand that's why they are known as handheld computers handheld computers mean which are easily carry or we can easily carry by our hands now laptop see we can carry laptop students however it needs strength we need we need to keep them safely but handheld devices are small compact chote hote taki wo aasani se hamare haath mein sama jaye here is the fifth generation computers for you students here the time period says future technology which is from yeah from 1991 to the future why it's mentioned future because of the technology which is ai artificial intelligence so this is the future or we can say we have already began using artificial intelligence for our development and enhancement one example to share with you all you may have watched this movie robot rajinikanth robot movie dekha hoga aapne right chitti <laughs> naam sunte yaad aaya right so that chitti is an example of artificial intelligence yeah on the basis of oh see here seen this picture students fifth generation computers and artificial intelligence here on the last line it says on the basis of size computers were classified in four types that is micro computer mini computer main frame super computer yeah depending on the size this there were four major classifications micro computer mini computer main frame and super computer let's remember this four names take a look at this picture students it will be easier to understand the entire chapter in one picture this is your entire chapter that we studied so far it's a summarization first generation second generation third fourth and fifth see the size of the first generation computer compare it to the fifth generation so this is known as the advancement and development which we read the fourth line there was a regular advancement and improvement in computer this is what we are talking about the first generation and the fifth generation computer now we have your exercise i will send you the notes post the lecture i request students to kindly write them in your workbook in a neat and clean handwriting so the first chapter consists majorly or it has the history of computers as the topic itself says history of computers which is checked first generation vacuum tube second generation transistors third generation ICs which are integrated circuits fourth generation microprocessors and fifth which is VVLSI technology So with this students we complete our first chapter I thank you for watching and listening until our next lecture stay safe stay healthy have a nice day students thank you again